Hey everyone, I'm here with a tutorial on PCSX2 1.0.0 on how to get the best emulation uh, frame rate and speed. Because there's so many tutorials on YouTube that just don't get to the point or have stupid music over it, so I can't understand what's going on. So I thought, you know what, I'll get to the bottom of it myself and try to find a way to get PCX2 PCS running at the best on my computer. Step 1. WEBSITE! So without further apu, first thing you want to do is you want to check if your computer is able to run PCXX at its best possible best possible speed. So first thing you want to do is go to the official PCSX2 forums. I will leave the links in the description. This is the configuration guide, it's 0.9.8, but it works for 1.0.0, which is the latest release, or is it, I don't know, but I'm doing it on 1.0.0, and what it does is it goes through everything relating to your computer, relating to graphics plugin configuration, sound plugin, etc, etc, and it t lets you know what each setting in each section does, so you can find the best possible uh, settings for your computer. If I just quickly run through, it's very long, but it's really good, it helped me get my PCSX2 running at the best possible speed. Now, just so you know, I am running I am running it on my laptop. So to all those people that say you can't run it on a laptop, well you can. Okay? Alright. Step after you've read through that's optional. It's good to read through. But after you've read through that, step two, computer. The next thing you want to do is check your computer specs. This is pretty important to see if you can actual run PCS X2, can't even say it right, back at its best possible speed. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go start, you want to put in uh, put put in power and go to power options right here, power options, and make sure your computer is set to high performance or the highest possible setting you have. This just means that there'll be nothing bringing down the speed of your PCS emulator and this will be making sure that your computer is running best of speed. Okay? So high performance. That's fine. Next thing we want to do is you want to check your computer specs. So go to my computer, right click and go to properties. And this will give you information on your processor, your RAM, uh there that's my graphics card right there. Into no wait, no, that's it, not it. That's my processor. Sorry. And you want to see, all this information is on the side as well. If you want to check your, all these, all these points to see if your computer is good enough to run the emulator. I think, as a before, you need at least 2 gig of RAM and 2.66 gigahertz, which I've got 2.67 gigahertz and 4 gig of RAM, but only 2.92 is usable. That's alright. Another thing, you want to check your graphics card, so if you go to start, and you click in run, go to run, and put in D, D X D A G as in DXDIAG. This will bring up all things about your uh, graphics card. So you want to go up, uh, there's the BIOS, there's the processor, there's the memory. You want to go to display, and that will give you the name of your graphics card right there. My laptop doesn't have the best graphics card, but it's good enough to run the emulator itself. So my graphics card is Intel R HD graphics. Step 3. PCSX2 configuration! Okay. Alright, I think that's enough on computer specs. The next thing you want to do is actually open up your PCSX2 and let's go to configuration. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the miscellaneous MISC tab and you want to turn off your console. Now, console is just used for finding bugs and finding plugins that don't work. And it, do it doesn't do it by much, but it does slow down the emulator a little bit. So you want to just turn that off, because unless you're a developer, you have no need for it. Next thing, you want to go to configuration. The first thing we're going to go through is plugins. Now, remember, these plugins work for my computer. They may not work for yours, but they work for mine. They should work for yours, but the best thing to do is muck around, see what works best for you, etc. But my settings are 
Plugins I have SSE2. That's where I'm running at the moment. You have SSE, SSSE3, SSSE4, but I'm running SSE2. Okay? The pad I'm pad I'm using is I'm actually using LilyPad. That's just so I can play comfortably through my Xbox Xbox controller. Sound I've only got <coughs> excuse me. Sound I have SPU2. Now I think this is widely known that this is the best best sound processor or buy plugin for PCSX2. So stick with SPU. For C D V D I use Linux ISO. That's just so I can use um, load ISO figures or ISO. Uh, blah, I don't even know what they are. Just, I'm just going to call them ISOs. So if you download ISOs, this is the one you want to use. Linus ISO. Okay. USB, there's only one. FW, there's only one. Dev9, there's only one. So yeah, that's all my plugins. Next thing we're going to do, do is you want to go to config and we're going to configure the video GS plugin. So go down to plugin settings. Now, apparently, under renderer, you want to go to hardware, because apparently that runs the best. I don't know why, but that apparently is the best setting. So, direct 3D9 hardware, okay? Interlacing, I have none. Um, res this is important. Resolution, you want to put on native. This will, keep, this will keep the resolution as a stock PlayStation 2 console, okay? If you set up your own custom resolutions, it's going to... It will improve the quality of the video, but if you don't have a fast PC, it's going to bring down uh, your game speed. Okay, so if you want to improve speed, put on native. Uh, you want to make sure texture filtering is on the tick, not the square, the tick. Yep. Uh, logarithmic Z is ticked, alpha correction is ticked, and that's it for the video plugin. Okay, alright, next one. You want to go to your audio and go to plugin settings. From config, audio, plugin settings. Okay, under interpolation, I have linear. It's simple and okay sound. If you want to make it a bit faster, you can go zero, which is nearest. This will give it the fastest, but it's bad quality. My PC is actually decent enough to run it at one, simple. So I'm going linear. <coughs> uh, this is important. Disable effects processing. This will speed up the speed of the emulator. So you want to tick that. Um, do not tick use the de-alias filter. No, don't want to tick that. Okay, output settings module. You want to have it as X audio two recommended. Okay, that seems to be the best setting. Now, just a note: most of these settings are stock settings, settings, but I have mucked around with a couple to improve other quality. So that should be it for SPU, ah, SPU2X settings. So click OK. Um, okay, next one you want to go to, uh, don't, don't, if you want to set up a controller, you just have to go to, this is, if, this is only for people who want to use, say, I don't know, a PS3 controller, an Xbox controller, you go to pad 1A, and you, for example, for cross, you want to press A on the Xbox or X on the PS3. PS3 controller, and I don't really need to run through that. That won't not that this won't speed up your emulation settings. It's just for controllers. So uh, I think that does it for the plugins. Now, next thing you want to do, do is go into your emulation settings from the config tab at the start. Okay. <coughs> All right. Uh, and uh, E E I O P, you want to have recompiler, recompiler, chop zero and normal. These are all stock settings and they are the best. Okay, next one. VU. Under VU0 you want to have micro VU recompiler. VU1, micro VU recompiler. Round mode, chop zero. Clamping mode, normal. This is all stock again if you haven't noticed. Okay, alright. Under the GS tab. This, yeah, okay, you want to disable frame rating. Okay. I don't, I don't fully understand what this does, but all I know is that it speeds up speeds up my emulation. So you want to disable that. Under f you don't want to tick any of these. Keep these unchecked. Okay, for this, for base frame rate adjust, have 200. For slow motion adjust, have 50. For turbo adjust, have 200. Okay. 
Uh, under frame skipping, yeah, you want to disable frame skipping. Again, default. Jeez, so many defaults. Next window. Okay, GS window. Um, this isn't really important. This is just how your physical output is displayed. I have 640 by 480 under custom window size. Uh, zoom 100% or 100. Uh, aspect ratio is 4 to 3. If you want, you can go fit the window screen. It doesn't really matter. Just muck around with that. So mine is 4 to 3. Uh, speed hacks. Okay, you want to. This is important. You want to enable speed hacks, and you want to put the ease. Uh, ugh, what does that even say? Cycle well array. Whatever. Put that up to three. So the full, full setting. Put up to three. Some people might prefer it at two, but yeah, I like it at three. For VU cycle stealing, put that up to three. Again, muck around to see what suits you, but for me, it's three on both. <coughs> Other hacks, enable INTC spin detection, enable weight loop detection, micro VU hacks, you want to enable MVU flag hack, and MTVU multi-threaded micro VU1. You want to enable all those. Okay, and game fixes, you want to enable manual game fixes. Uh, actually, it, this, this isn't really as important, but the only one... I would check because see this one's for like Digimon, this one's for Tales of Destiny, they all for certain games. I have FFX videos fix. <coughs> this actually might slow down your game a bit, but it seemed to work okay for me. It's just that if you have bad graphics, like say someone's eyes aren't showing in a video, this should fix it up. But um yeah. I think that pretty much does it. Because I'm sick of all the bad tutorials where it's just crap music and stuff. I thought I would try and make one for you guys. Because you seem like nice people. So that's all my all my settings. Um, I'll, I'll run a game for you. For everyone who doesn't know how to run on ISO. You want to go to C DVD. ISO selector. You want to click browse and then go to where you saved your ISO. But here I've already got it saved. I'm going to go to Jack and Daxter PS2. System. And boot C DVD fast. That will just skip the load up screen. It'll just go straight to the game. See up here, I've got hundreds. Oh, now it's dropping. <clears throat> See, look at that speed. That's good. That's a bit faster in the video. But in the game, it runs at a healthy, healthier 60 or 55, 60 frames per second. See, look at that. That is beautiful. Yep. See up here. 55 to 58, 55 frames per second. It's hovering around the 50s, which is good. That, that's very easily playable. The sound isn't too bad either. Can I even go in the game? No, keep that my controller with me. I will happily put up some gameplay. See, it's still hovering around the... It's dropping a little bit, but it's okay. It's running alright. Now, I don't have the best computer, so this this works for me. Easily playable. And I hope, hope this uh, tutorial helped. At least you have a voice to go by. I tried to make it as full as possible, but there you go. The first thing you want to do is check the forums, check your uh, configuration guide, make sure you're on high performance, check all your settings, then go through this, blah, 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 blah. 